The subject of my character analysis is Woody Bush from Lydia Diamond's play, Tony Stone. In understanding Woody, we first have to consider his background. Woody is the product of his circumstances, which hold him back from his objectives. We learn that Woody was cheated by the major leagues because he didn't have Jackie's disposition. Jackie Robinson is said to have had consistent dignity on and off the field. Despite Woody's talent, his poor attitude and lack of morals holding him back from achieving greatness. Woody's super objective is simply to play baseball in the major leagues, which is the driving force behind his actions throughout the play. Next, we examine Woody's public and personal images. Publicly, others see Woody as a bitter, hostile bully whose insecurities are reflected in his chauvinistic ideals. He never passes up a chance to degrade his teammates or to criticize Jackie Robinson. Through the story, Woody tries to intimidate many of the players and is sexually inappropriate in an effort to make Tony, the only female player, feel uncomfortable. Personally, Woody sees himself as a victim who lost out on a chance to play in the big leagues. He's embarrassed because now he's playing on a clown team in the Negro League and is being shown up by a girl. He feels that his teammates and other members of the various baseball leagues do not respect or value his abilities. Woody's lack of self-awareness causes inner conflict with himself. He is his own worst enemy, responsible for the loss, opportunity, and sense of adequacy that hinders his development. His lost opportunity for a spot playing in the majors is the catalyst for his behavior in the play. If he cannot correct his disposition, then the Negro League is the best he's ever gonna do. His sense of inadequacy comes from his sexist ideologies that make him feel inadequate, playing baseball next to a female phenom. He abhors Tony's presence and ability and resents his position playing the same level as a woman. As we delve further into Woody's character, we find that he is riddled with flaws. His insecurity comes from his rejection from the majors and now from being outdone by a female. Woody is also plagued with jealousy. He makes it apparent that he is jealous of Jackie Robinson and even has the audacity to criticize and put down Robinson's skills. On page 18, Woody blames white people for Robinson's popularity instead of attributing it to his talent. Woody is also jealous of Tony's attention and success. Tony outperforms Woody and draws a crowd to the games like a marquee player. He is bent on the fact that 1,836 people watched Tony show him up because of his male chauvinism, he is embarrassed to be outdone by a woman. In act two, Tony's popularity further enrages Woody. Outdone by a woman. In act two, Tony's popularity further enrages Woody to directly threaten her on the bus. He uses intimidation because it's all he's got. The only way he knows to overpower or shut down Tony is to take away her control. He comes very close to doing so. Sexual harassment is intimidation and sexual abuse is about power. He uses intimidation to threat to take away Tony's power, which she struggles to fight for every day. This bus scene in particular reveals how vulnerable Tony was in a male-dominated world. 
the danger she was susceptible to every time she went on the road. Woody's motivation comes from psychological and self-fulfillment, from the psychological aspect of his motivation. Woody needs acceptance from both the team and the league. Like a child, he acts out to get attention when he doesn't receive the accolades he thinks he deserves. Woody also needs accomplishment because he and or the team do well. He hopes to have a chance of moving up in the league. Regarding his self-fulfillment motivation, Woody believes he already has the skills to succeed in the big leagues. He thinks his talent equals Jackie Robinson's, so he expects to be a gr as great as Jackie as well. He feels he does not deserve to be on the clown team because Woody almost made it. He sees himself as better than his teammates and is why he's so critical of them. He gets angry and frustrated when the team doesn't play well because it hurts his chances of another shot at the big leagues. Woody knows he would be playing next to Robinson if he wasn't cheated out of the opportunity. Ultimately, Woody's actions are sinister, but his motivations are based on self-preservation. Woody ironically represents the male, sexist, bigoted mindset that dominates society and kept females out of sports. The competitive workforce, politics, and education up until the 1960s. Woody's behavior and actions toward Tony reveal her re resilience and courage she needed in order to survive in an oppressed environment. Despite her many obstacles and challenges, Tony Stone showed moral character and passion in her pursuit of baseball and love of the game. My two questions about Woody Bush. Number one, is Woody a redeemable character? Number two, why or why not?